Hello, guys. Welcome to another episode of American Flag. My name is Randy Flag. I'm your host. Please like and subscribe. And uh, don't forget to donate to the Patreon. And if you like my stuff, just give it a thumbs up. So today we're going to talk about um, you, all you guys know is that I, I lived in China for 20 years and I pretty much uh, know the culture. Now, I have a video here that's very interesting. Um, it's about a a girl. I think she's about, she looks like she's about like 15 or 16, maybe 16 years old. And she, I guess she gets some kind of scholarship to go abroad or something to to go to a public school in, a, in the United States. And she goes to homestay. So she gets homestay. If you don't know what homestay is, is that um, you'll have some people that will allow foreign students to stay in their home and the family will pay them some kind of um, room and board price or whatever. Okay. So this girl was allowed to stay in an uh, an American home um, and... What happened after that was crazy is that she got kicked out of the homestay home um, and of the homestay family. The homestay family kicked her out. And then she's saying that they kicked her out because it's racism. She says that uh, these people are racism. um, And then she's trying to basically use Chinese nationalism because you'll get a lot of that. Sometimes I'm going to put up another video right after this where um, it's one of my old videos that I put up before, but when I deleted my channel and then I actually saved this video. So after this one, I might put that up a little later where you kind of deal with like Chinese nationalism, where they try to show everybody else that they're really, really Chinese, you know. Um, Now, some people because they want to feel special they're going to play the race card i don't like doing that you know i it's like a last resort <laughs> you know like if there really is racism i'll say something but uh i tend to think that the unfair treatment in the world that i receive especially in the united states i would say is most likely classism right I'm not in the right class because, you know, LeBron James has more privileges than I do. And he's he's black as a night. Right. Um, But this lady says that she's dealing with racism, that they don't like Chinese people, that Americans don't like Asians. And, you know, is this not true? And actually, the Chinese commenters that were looking at the video They also like called a bluff and it was like, no, that's, you know, it's pretty much not true. You were just acting like a pompous butt and this is why you got kicked out. So she tried to play the race card, but it backfires. Okay. On her. And um, we're going to see this video is only about like two minutes. She talks like really quick. So I don't know if I'll play it twice or not, but um, let's just check it out. 我还是蛮害怕的，不知道会不会有种族歧视啊这样的问题。因为我是个亚洲人，我有非常不立体的一张脸，而且我的肤色也是那种黄色的，我很怕被欺负。So they do this whole section. Okay, so so first, okay, just let us look at it. We'll just look at the whole thing and then I'll make a comment. All right. And then they kind of told her story. 其实我们学校可能是在全美做，就是那种学校手册。就做最好的当时我是唯一一个全校而且还是个中国人唯一有自己一页的当时也是上台领奖的时候学业奖也是很大那个奖牌我当时上次上去领了五次奖而且都是学业最高荣誉的奖我自己都没有想到会那样子我
，也就是他们把我踢出来的事情。那天晚上，我的一个同学接我去 SPA， 突然来了几条短信，这个妈妈拍了几张厕所卫生间的照片发给我，她说：“你们垃圾堆了这么多，完了以后你们厕所这么肮脏。”我回答的时候，辩解的时候，他们家完全就火了，他说：“你有巨大的人品问题，对，非常失望。”而这是爸爸就说：“没关系，我们还可以再收留他一天。”就是他下定决心就搬出去，这样的这样子，呃，这妈妈就说 no， 他说不能，不可以，他今天晚上就给我搬出去。我换了三次居家，大家都知道我换几个家庭了，所以谣言非常的深。之前的很多朋友，很多朋友就是很好的朋友，今年一开学。我一回到学校，很多人根本没有跟我说你好，没有说嗨。有时坐在桌前的我会问自己一个问题：我还是中国人吗？不管我说的那口英文有多么流利，不管我是多么懂美国人的文化，我在他们眼里还是会是一个中国人。因此，如果你有一张中国脸，就请练中文，懂中国文化吧。是时候告别一会儿英文世界了。Okay, so that's a lot of things she said. Cause it's like they kind of crammed like. Five minutes into like two minutes, so let's just start again, and then I'm gonna break down some of the points that she was attempting to make. Like I'm gonna break down her argument. Okay, so let's start. I'm still quite scared. I don't know if there's a racial bias. This kind of question, because I'm a Asian person, I have a very unfair face, and my hair is also of the color of the sky. Okay, so first she says she's afraid of racial discrimination. Okay, so first she says she's afraid of racial discrimination. Uh, because she's Asian, she says, "Oh, my skin is not as white." And from my experience, and from what she's saying, she wants to have white skin. So it's like kind of Toni Morrison with the bluest eye, where the the girl really wants to be white. You know, she loves the white dolls and all this kind of stuff. So she kind of envies them, and she she dis she claims she dislikes their discrimination. But she's actually discriminating against herself. It's like, and they discriminate against black people all the time. Like Chinese discriminate against blacks all the time.、Um, where she's saying that I'm not so white. I'm I'm a little bit yellow. And you got to ask yourself, like, what's wrong with being not being white? And I just know that Chinese people they love the white, pale, skin, right? And so she's thinking herself as inferior, right? Because oh, I'm not, I'm not white, I'm not white. But she wants to be so white, right? And you, if you look at her, she's like, she's like white, like a regular Chinese person. But that's what she's saying. She wants to be like bleach white, right? Like with so many Chinese, they want to be that way. <laughs> so she says she's afraid of being bullied, like this. And then she kind of contradicts herself in the next sentences. So she's like, "I'm afraid of being bu- bullied because I'm Chinese, right? Because I'm I'm not white." They kind of told her story. Actually, our school could be in the top one, like the first one in the school book, the best one. I was the only one who was bullied. Okay, so she says she was bullied. She's afraid of being bullied because she's because she's not white enough, but then because she's Chinese. But then the school gives her an exclusive page, just about her. Right? It, does that sound like racial discrimination, or that, or does that sound like people that really are embracing your culture, and so they embrace your culture so much that they gave you. A whole page to yourself. Does that sound like racial discrimination to you? I don't know. Make that make sense. 全校，而且还是个中国人，唯一有自己一页的。当时也是上台领奖的时候，学业奖也是很大那个奖牌。我当时上次上去领了五次奖，而且都是学业最高荣誉的奖。我自己都没有想到。So she was given all of this stuff beyond her imagination. This all this, all her dreams were coming true. Because in China she didn't get this right, but in America they are recognizing her achievements. They don't care what race she is. They just give because she's doing well in school. They give her all this stuff, right? So you don't even have to look at all of this here to know, right? Um, that she's a bit kind of、uh, snooty, and I know these type of students, you know, these type of people. 
and kids in China that I know why the the, the place is all messy because the bathroom was all messy. And the and the parents said, "Look, the host family, look, you gotta leave. You you're messy, and you're disrespect and you're you're rude, right?" Because she expects this host family to pick her up at night while she's going out to party. Aren't you supposed to be in bed? And you calling them at 8 or 9 o'clock or even 10 or 11 to come and pick you up. Like, don't you supposed to get your own transportation? You got all these friends, right? Because she keep on saying she got, she said, I got a lot of friends, so I got to go to a lot of parties. That doesn't sound like racial discrimination to me, right? And so what happens, I guess, is that she got kicked out of the host family and then it got spread around the school that she's, you know, she's not a very nice person, maybe. And then people kind of treat her differently, right? They may have gotten offended because in America, it's easy to offend somebody, easy to get offended, easy to offend somebody. And so how do you, they don't, some students may not say hi or they just uh, feel kind of awkward around her, right? Because in a host family, she's probably living maybe with another student, maybe? That's most likely that's happening because how does it get to the school? You know, how do the other students know about it? And that may be because she's living with a, like, a student's family or something like that, right? And so she left the bathroom all disgusting and nasty, and she's thinking, oh, yeah, these people are going to clean up after me because in China you got IEs. Like, people like this that get their education paid for in the United States, they send their kids to the U.S., uh, to learn this stuff because that's a lot of money. They got IEs at home. They got cleaners and stuff that clean up after them. And I know it because uh, when I'm in China, you get these people in a cafeteria and in McDonald's everywhere, right? They'll eat something and then they just leave it on the table instead of like taking it and throwing it out and then putting the 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 um the tray on the the whatever, like the trash bin can, right? What they do is they just leave it there. In the cafeteria, they just leave it there. Um, in a restaurant, they just leave the bowl there. They don't take it to a trash can and dump it and then put the bowl and put the chopsticks on top. That's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to, like, dump the bowl, you know. You, you have a way that you do these type of things. Oh, my cat. He's always coming in here. Right. And so when that happened, so from the comments, it backfired. She thought that she was going to get on. Uh, there's going to be a, a whole bunch of support for her because she's Chinese. She said, oh, yeah, I'm Chinese. I'm going to stick with Chinese. I'm I'm leaving America, you know, and it's just and they're like, no, you were rude. That's why they kicked you out. Right. And so we got some people right here. It says, and that has the most likes, as you can see. It says, um, it may be that this clip is not complete, but what the video girl, excuse me, what the video girl proposes is that she often has activities, often comes home late, and then asks her host mother to pick up, to pick her up, I guess. In addition, the hygiene of the bathroom is not good. I think it really brings people's lives, whatever that means. And then another one asks, do you have a direct link to racism? Bathroom problems, late home, easy to let people pick up. None of this is acceptable to me as a parent, right? Um, then somebody says, if you have not done housework at home and are self-centered, there may be more contradictions in life. It has nothing to do with, I guess, human race, racism or something. Yes, and she told the story without the slightest awareness of her own selfish, uh, what you say, of her own selfish problems. Good grades do not mean to everyone. Because I was translating these, these things, so these are translated. When she said her face was not three-dimensional, I think she felt a little inferior because she put three-dimensional. It's a good hook. I don't know what that means, but 
She avoids the important and takes the easy way out. What is the reason that others look down on her? Unless you explain the cause and effect. Learning well, it does not mean that your character does not have a problem. You see, so she tried to like play the race card and the Chinese are not having it. Okay. Uh, they kind of call this Bai Zuo. Um, I think it's like white, white, right, or white something. Um, good grades mean nothing. And the host family does not need to take care of you like your parents. No obligation to pick you up. You do not keep urging others on the phone. Really impolite. You see? So, it, you know, they have a lot of, most of the ch comments are just not in support of her. Uh, and they criticize her for playing the race card. So, as you can see, you know, Chinese don't all think in one way. You know, uh... Not everybody's nationalism, like the you know the people can be pretty fair sometimes. But I gotta admit that the Chinese online uh, China can be very toxic. I think the almost the whole Chinese space is like Twitter, man. You know, it's just really a a, a doggone war out there online. Anyway, um, what do you think? Would you kick her butt out or would you keep her? This is the flag. I'm out. Please like and subscribe. Stay sharp, people. Peace.